Watched though by Allen on the left. He held his own in that last round. He was behind about the same amount after the first round. He held his own that last round. He's going to have to pick it up here because he's going to close the gap. If he's not doing that, I'll tell you that. Mark Allen seems to be picking him off now at long range. Zano has been a busy fighter. He's just not been getting through the defense of Brock Allen. Although it doesn't count in the amateur ranks, we can certainly say that Allen throws punches with bad intentions. It's a lot harder. Well, he's tagged there with that right hand. Nice right hand by Lozano. So oftentimes in the amateur ranks, because the force of a punch doesn't count, fighters stop worrying about how hard they're hitting. They just try to land. Allen doesn't seem to be that type of fighter, though. No, he likes to bang. He likes to, you know, go out there and whack somebody. Well, he is from Philadelphia, after all. He's very serious. Very serious, young man. He quit grade school because that recess problem. <laughs> Philadelphia, I know one tough thing about kid. you. Yeah, you're tough and you hit hard. You're a thrower and amateur. Some of the holding his own. Very effective on the infighting where I think Allen thought that he may have the better of it. That left hand was big by Allen. His best punch of this third round. And another one. You know, Tim, Lozano has shown me a lot of courage, a lot of, and he takes a good shot. Does not look at fear at all. Left hand, then a right, then a left. Lozano doesn't want to have his back against the ropes as he takes that left hook. And opening up here, the closing seconds of round number three, but Lozano keeps on coming to his credit. Tie up. And that ends round number three. Two minutes remain in this 139 pound final. Yeah, easy fight. Earlier we spoke to Rock Allen and we asked him if it would be special to add his name to the impressive list of former 139-pound U.S. champions. It's almost like a privilege, you know, because uh, I feel as though boxers should always be humble, you know, and, uh, and let the other people give them the praise. You know, it's good to have confidence, and I have a lot of confidence in myself, but uh, to hear you say that is almost, almost like a privilege. 139 pounds. It's been a charmed weight. United States fighters, they've gone to Olympians, most notably there. 1971, that Sugar Ray Seals, 74, 75, none other than Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Seals, I mean, the Sugars were a pretty happy group there for a couple of decades. But I tell you what, a lot of the good names in there, a lot of good fighters. And uh, we're, these you two young men are trying to make war and get that, get that recognition themselves. I need a stronger game. Seconds out, whistle. Fourth and final round upcoming. Mark Allen captured the light welterweight championship. Captain Lozano, Lozano in the blue, Allen in the red. That's a tough lead to overcome. 23-11, remember there's a 15 point spread or mercy rule if you will. 15 points and the fight stops automatically. But if Allen gets busy, he may just get that 15 point spread, which is quite an accomplishment in any final. It doesn't automatic go, you know, if, they, if it gets 15 points. If the one of the officials says that it's okay and the other guy's not getting hurt, they'll let it go. We're not doing much to open round number four. Lozano seems tired at this point. They both are tired. They've been throwing a lot of punches. Lozano only 16 years old. He's got a great future too. Lozano just caught by that left hand in the second left, the follow-up by Allen misses. Lozano getting wide in his punches, that's certainly a sign of fatigue. Although these are only eight minute bouts, they're furious eight minutes, you just don't have any time to sit around at the amateur level. Lozano seems to give uh, Rock a harder time when he's left-handed. He can switch around left-handed here a lot on the inside of the place. Allen not doing a lot in round number four, but really why should he with that big lead? Doesn't want to get caught, doesn't want to be silly. I have to commend the referee, he's doing a nice job with these guys, letting them fight on the inside, letting them go. Not stop, letting this crowd have some flow to him. Second that by Lyle Acklestead, doing a nice job. Not jumping in every 10 seconds, letting this fight really develop a nice natural pace. A lot of hard punches on the inside. Something good to see. 20 seconds now remain in this final. Fighters definitely showing their fatigue. Rock Allen, I understand what he's doing. He's been really working hard and doing a lot of punches. 
Pisano has two. It's been a great fight. I'll tell you what, both of them can be proud when they go back to the corner. That's it. Four rounds complete. Wait the final score, but it looks like Allen will be champion at 139 pounds over a very game and determined Abdon Lozano. Let's get the official decision from our ring announcer, Hank Kropinski. He's the 2001 Everlast U.S. Champion at 139 pounds from the red corner, Rock Allen. Okay, and Rock Allen adds the 139-pound U.S. Championship to the 132-pound championship he captured last year. A huge margin dominating this bout, especially in rounds two and three, 29-12. I'll tell you, Rock Allen showed that he is a veteran in this game, and after last year's experience, he's come out to make, to make a statement show that he is the best in his division. 